Hey everybody. In the previous video we looked at the cloud management gateway and set it up so it would work in our environment. Uh, it seemed to go really well. So next we're going to look at some logs and look at the Azure costs and all that kind of stuff. Um, firstly though, I hit a problem. I tried to look at the connection analyzer in, in the Config Manager console and essentially it's, it's hit an error. So I thought we'd work through fixing that now as a good demonstration of how you can troubleshoot the cloud management gateway. So let's jump on in. So in the uh, Config Manager Admin Console, we're just going to click on Cloud Services and then Cloud Management Gateway. And you can see I've got my Cloud Management Gateway there, which seems to be all fine and status is ready. If we go into the Connection anal Analyzer, we can sign in as an Azure AD user to check how this is going to go. So I'm just going to sign in as one of my AD users. I'm going to go with Dean at Get Modern at the moment. So just click Sign In. And then all we do is click start and it will go through all these checks to see if things are going well. And so it starts off with, uh, we're going to check the CMG services in the ready state, which is good. That seems to have passed. It checks to connect um, to the to the CMG service to see if it's running, which is also passed. So that's great. It checks the configuration settings of the CMG to make sure it's up to date, which it is. So that's good. It checks the status of the CMG connection point, which are all green. And it checks for the CMG enabled site system rules. So, so far, so good. Uh, then a big red error, a big red cross, testing the CMG channel for management point, and it gives the management point name, which is the primary site server that we're using here. So what's the issue? So we you click on that and you get more information about it. And essentially it says, it has failed to get the config manager token from Azure AD and the status is 403, which is something like access denied. Uh, right at the bottom there it says, the management point returned the following error, unauthorized request. Check the specified Azure AD user is successfully discovered. Now I know I've configured Azure AD discovery. I know I've configured AD discovery for users. So let's just take a look at what could be wrong. So the first thing we can do is open up CM trace and take a look at some log files. So. Start menu, type CM trace, it should be there. So first we're going to go to C program files, SMS underscore CCM and open up the log directory there. Essentially we're going to look for a, a log called CCM underscore STS, which is right here. So we'll just double click on that and ah, we've got some errors there. So taking a look at the date and time on these, uh, essentially it looks like it's today, which is good. And it was a minute ago, 3.30 ish. So um, yeah, it came back with 403 and it says AAD user with this ID is not completely discovered. So that makes sense. So uh, user discovery is in a different log file. It's in the AD user discovery log. So we'll head over to there, which is C program files, Microsoft configuration manager logs, and it's in AD user dis. So we'll double click on that and go into it. And this is a huge log file. So let's, let's wait for this to load. Ah, there it is. So what errors have we got there? We've definitely got an error, which is red, so that's good. And it says error fails to bind LDAP and then the uh, the container that it's trying to bind to, which is corp D, uh, corpcontoso.com with this error message. And uh, failed to enumerate directory objects in AD container. And yeah, so it's it's tried to impersonate corp slash lab admin, it looks like. I wonder if the credentials aren't up to date in the lab admin user I'm using to do this discovery. So we're clearly using the lab admin user for discovery there. Let's just double check that and verify that in the discovery methods. We'll go into Active Directory user discovery and check, go into the properties and see the account we're using for this is definitely corp slash lab admin. So Okay, let's take a look in the account section in security and just reset that password and see if we can fix that error um, by setting a new password. So we'll just go into properties and choose set, tap a new password in to make sure we're going to test the right user. There we go and just choose a share that we want to use to verify the credentials. Uh, we've got to choose a share path, sorry. Yeah, so just choose a share path uh, of, let's go with the CHQ share, and that's been verified, so that's good. 
So we know the password right now. So we'll just click OK and then OK. And then click Apply. Right, so let's rerun this discovery then. Let's check to see whether uh, discovery now works by running discovery again and then heading over to the log file and hopefully we'll see that it it doesn't have those errors again when it runs this just takes a few seconds to run so let's give it a few seconds we should see it populating this log file soon look at that so yeah that, that's really good so it's picked up a lot of users clearly I'd not had the password set correctly when I've when I've been doing this setup so that's all good uh, it's done a load more discovery and so now I, I guess we head just head over to the uh, to the cloud management gateway section and run that connection analyzer again and see how we get on. I'm going to sign in with one of, my, one of my users. And then choose start. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so it's checked all green and all green. Yeah, so that's gone right through to the end and has tested and, and has successfully verified the cloud management gateway channel on that site server. So that's really good news. All right, good. So the point of this video was to show you some log files and the Azure costs. So we'll start with the log files and um, and we'll see how we go. So I'm, I'm logged into a client with lucy.tester and let's see what log files we can look at. I'm going to go into the control panel and just verify that this computer is logged in to the cloud management gateway rather than the internal server. I have put it on the inter the on the on the external network, so it shouldn't be able to contact the management point. But let's just verify that by going into Config Manager, Client App. So it says it's um, currently on the internet, and it's using this management point here. But it'll be using that as the uh, by proxy through the Cloud App management point here. Okay, good. So this is kind of what we're looking for here. This is the internet based management point FQDN that we're looking for. So we're going to go into CM Trace, which isn't, which isn't there. Uh, I'm going to go into CM Trace by finding CM Trace. And it's just in this route here. And so in the logs folder, we're looking for um, looking for location services at this point, just to verify that it really has picked up the internet-based management point. Let's take a look. Okay, so relatively recently, about five minutes ago, we see it picked up this internet management point from here, which is good. And then we see also we've got this management point name here, using HTTPS. Great. Okay, so we're going to go into another log file, which is a client ID manager startup. Okay. So right from the bottom there, we see it's the client selected the PKI certificate with this thumbprint for this computer name, and this is the one we're using. Okay, and then finally, we're going to get another log file, which is CCM messaging, and just show that the mess the CCM messages are being sent via the cloud management gateway. We can take a look, take a look at this. So, scroll down to the bottom, and you can see it says outgoing message, uh, Q location manager delivered successfully to this host here, which is my cloud management gateway. So it's sending messages you know, very regularly, every every few seconds or every, every few minutes or so. So that clearly makes it, um, clearly shows that it's on the cloud management gateway. Interesting, it was around about 10 minutes ago at the start of this video that I uh, selected the, uh, to switch from the internal network to the external network. And as you can see, this is when it stopped using the internal management point and switched to the external management point. So you can verify that it's working by going into these logs and, and taking a look. All right, so it's it's getting dark. Um, 
the last thing we wanted to do was take a look at the cost side of the cloud management gateway. So let's jump into my lab environment in the Azure portal and take a look at what it's costing me to run this environment right now. So if I just go into my resource groups here and then click on the CMG resource group that I created earlier on, and then go into cost analysis. I'll just click on cost by resource because you get this nice um, table. And so not a lot, right? So it's seven, seven pounds at the moment. And if we look at the cloud service, uh, it's currently costing me it, so far uh, for the, well, for the past three weeks, it's cost me six pounds 96, which is about $10 or so. And uh, not a lot in bandwidth costs for data transfer out. If we look at the storage account, that's this is where the actual data transfer happens. Cost twenty two pence, so about forty cents for um, for the data transfer, the bandwidth a egress from my Azure storage. So that's you know not a lot of money here. So I wanted to show you in the lab environment just so you had a, a feeling for what it was costing me with my lab. I do have a, an example from a customer I work with who have around about two and a half thousand clients, and they're running it pretty much all of their app deployments through it at the moment because it's it's much more efficient for them to have all their staff accessing their content from the internet rather than uh, via via the internal network. So we'll jump over to that environment now and see what see what they're paying. Okay, so I'm going to blank out some of the names here to make sure this is this is able to be shared, but. Um, we have uh, a cost from around about the, well, I think just this month right now. So the 24th of, 24th of May, so about 24 days, we have a cost of around 65 UK pounds right now. And if we look at the cloud service, we have uh, 44 pounds, so about 60, $65 for the cloud services AV2 series, um, which is an A2 V2. Uh, machine based in US East and then for the egress storage cost it's around six pence per gigabyte of, of data egress from the service is uh, is currently six, 16 pounds that they're paying and so they're, they're, as I say they've got around 2,000 clients running with this environment at the moment we're going to take a look at the config manager side of that to understand where these numbers are coming from and how many clients are connecting via the CMG just to see where this where this goes. So in our admin uh, console, we're going to go to monitoring and then go scroll down and take a look at cloud management. And at the top, the first thing you'll see is uh, is the Azure AD statistics. So this really isn't relevant for, for this bit right here. So we're going to just close that down. And if we take a look at the CMG services, so a load of big numbers here. Um, this is a very well used service. We've got around um, around 4,000 identities contacting the CMG over this period. And this graph here gives you a good idea of, uh, of what's going on. So we have 16 online clients from the CMG and 255 from the int intranet management point for you know management point traffic. Uh, but these computers will be pulling their content from the cloud management gateway because that's the only place we put the content right now. So there you go. Hopefully that's given you an idea of how to track your costs and look at your costs with the cloud management gateway and hopefully reassured you that it's not actually that expensive to try it out. It's you know seven pounds for me to try it out in my lab. And then in production for 2000 clients, it's only around 60 pounds a month anyway. So yeah, give it a go. Okay. So running to get this video finished before the, the light really runs out. So Essentially, what we've done here is looked at the cloud management gateway, setting it up in the previous video, and then troubleshooting it or taking a look at the log files and analyzing the costs in this video. Next, we're going to move to enhanced HTTP rather than HTTPS to see what you can get from just not worrying about PKI at all. If you've liked this video, please like and subscribe, and we'll get more content to you as soon as we can. See you next time.